So let's start with the meaning of diagrammatic presentation. Diagrammatic presentation is a visual form of the presentation of data in which facts and facts are highlighted in the language of diagram. It consists of presenting statical matters, uh, materials in interesting and attractive geometrical figures like bar, circles, rectangles, squares, pictures, maps, and charts, etc. It will attract the attention of the large number of persons it facilitates the comparison between the two and more set of data. These are the main things of the diagrammatic presentation. We can highlight the things, whatever we want to be, uh, say especially. And in the presenting way of, uh, uh, when we are presenting in, the, in a good geometric figure, it can understand the things very well and uh, attract the attention of large number of persons because uh, and it is easy to comparison that thing. So first of all, we will discuss here about uh, the um, advantages. Then we will go through the types of diagrams. So advantages of presenting the diagram is uh, uh, that the first topic is attractive and impressive. Data present in the form of diagram are able to attract and uh, attention to even the common man. Due to this facility, diagram creates one more interest than figures. Uh, in day-to-day -day life, while reading the journal, newspapers, magazine, etc., we skip over the figures, but mostly like uh, at the diagram. Thus, we, uh, it is very popular. To, um, we can see it. And in the board meetings, conferences, exhibition, public function, these diagrams are very helpful. Then simple and easy to understand. Even the layman can, layman can understand it very easily in a short time. Uh, layman is the uh, person who just uh, uh, promote the diagrams and most probably diagrams uh, is presented by him only that how to create it. Uh, and the, it cannot understand to tabular data easily. And that is why he completes a picture to the data present in the method of diagrammatic presentation so that is the person uh, who make it so it is easy to understand uh, diagram uh, diagrams have a great uh, memories effect also because when we see the bar graph what we have to do we will comparison okay this one is higher this one is lower likewise that so the picture create in the mind by the diagram such a uh, uh, long last longer and uh, figures can easily to understand and uh, is the com we can just make uh, complex data in easy form. You can say like that. Helpful in making comparison. Uh, uh, it becomes easy to compare the two set of data if it is given or uh, uh, if you want to. If you want to compare with the two things, so, so easily data can be uh, compared with the help of diagrammatic presentation, which one is larger, which one is lesser, likewise that. Next is uh, they much save time and energy. Actually, uh, what happened, the data, diagrammatic presentation is a complex mark of data uh, in a simple manner. So data presented in a form of a uh, diagram can be understood very quickly. So uh, on the other hand, you can say that a lot of time is need to study and trend and signify the volumized data. So it is easy for us and uh, diagrammatic leave good visual impact already I told you that uh, it will give uh, uh, very clear pictures and understandable also. One more thing is that uh, it's, uh, its characteristics is that some hidden facts are also when you see the picture your imagination is also working with that your um, uh, other uh, uh, qualification is also working with that your other observation is also working with that and the other facts that is not presented in the diagram you can understand that thing and one more thing is there it is universally applicable means the making of the diagram techniques is used by all over the world so it is quite easy to anyone to understand the diagram that how can we prepare the diagram what is written there all that thing is now we will discuss about the general rules of constructing the diagram title proper size proper scale index source footnote attractiveness neatness and simplicity these are the rules of constructing the diagram then we will discuss about the types of diagram 
so title each diagram should have a suitable title or heading that will clearly convey the main idea or the theme of the diagram it should be uh, the title and heading should be simple clear precise self explanatory okay these are the main properties of the title next proper size what is mean by size the size of the diagram would be depend on the quantity quantum of the data which are to be the shown the size should be which uh, such which can cover all important characteristics of the data and can be understood and simple look and should be proper in the size means the graph size should be same uh, same uh, in one of the manner like index uh, what is mean by index when various items are shown on the single diagram then a different shades and colors should be used on to differentiate between them so an index explaining this should be given in the clear identification and understand we will learn in the diagram when i will explain you the types of diagram we will uh, learn about that uh, then we can discuss about the next topic uh, source source from where we are taking the data uh, it should be proper and it should be a uh, authorized data so we can make uh, the uh, tape diagrams on the that thing so the source of the data should be very clear and in the proper way it should be so it easily to understand footnotes if you want to give any note regarding the data regarding the diagram you can written it in the last of it next is uh, attractiveness attractiveness diagram should be constructed in such a way that it has an immediate impact on the viewer diagram should be made by very easily neatly and clearly cleanly so that it could be attract the um, reader sir that is the thing accuracy is a one, one more thing of the diagram that a diagram should be draw accurately by the proper scales and measurement so when we are doing comparison of the data it should work there and important scale proper scale is also uh, there uh, selection of scale for the diagram should be such that the figure drawn should be in the position uh, so clearly and necessary detail should be given there so it is compulsory that we have to be make that thing now we will discuss about the types of uh, uh, types of a diagram